Okay, so we've got this image of a cheesecake here, which you can download for free in the description box below and follow along. The first thing I'm going to do here is make a duplicate of the background layer. So I'll highlight the background layer and press Command or Control J, depending if you're a PC or a Mac user, and create a duplicate just so we're not working straight in the background layer. Now, once we've got that selected, we're going to go over to this fantastic new tool in Photopea. And to do that, we go to the left hand side with the toolbar and we go to where the spot healing brush is here. Click and hold down to get to the drop down menu and magic remove is what we want to look for. So it's the third one down here and it's got us the same icon as the lasso tool, but it is a very different tool. So once we have that selected, we can see at the top here that there's two elements that make this unique. There's a new content box here, which is a text field, and there's a single button that says remove. This works to freehand selection tool like the lasso. So if we start by just drawing a rough selection around the area we want to influence. So this strawberry here with the cut side facing us, let's say I wanted to remove or change that. Draw a rough selection around it, making sure you completely encapsulate the object. And in theory, you can just click remove and it will do its best to try and figure out what's behind it. But that rarely gives a good result. So I'll just click it and see what happens. Now, the difference between this and something like the content aware tool is it's using like AI image generation to try and figure out what will be there. So in this case, it's kind of picked up on the leaf and it's put it there. But if we keep clicking it, you'll see that it sometimes just starts to put in really strange things. This is not the best way to use the tool. How you should use it, and I'm going to just undo that a few times, is to put something in the content box. So think of this less as a removal tool, but more of like an in-painting replacement tool. So let's just say instead of this strawberry, we wanted a different fruit. Let's just put in here raspberries and click remove. There, it's replaced it with three raspberries and you can see how well that's blended in with the reflections and everything like that now if you don't like the result with the selection still live you can just keep clicking remove and just seeing if you like another option or another result more if that looks good now they've got the raspberries facing outwards the leaf it's created is a little bit brighter than the other ones but that's an easy fix so, so that's one way of using it that's that's the main way of using it but I'm going to show you something else about this tool, which is you're not locked to just using it as a freehand selection. In fact, you can use any other tool that creates a selection in P and then switch to this and carry on. So for example, I'm going to come to the top here and click the rectangle select tool. And I'm going to drag a rectangle trying to cover the entire product on the plate here. Now there is a restriction to this tool, but there is a maximum limit of a thousand pixels each way. So you can't you can't use this on an area above a thousand pixels. So I'm lucky here, the area I want to influence is just under a thousand, as you can see by the figures in the bottom right corner. I'm just gonna let go. And what I'm gonna try here is, now I've used the rectangular selection to make that, but before I go any further, I'm gonna actually feather that selection Otherwise, you sometimes end up with a hard line where it's created, try to create the new image. So go to Modify, Feather, and something about 15 would be about right for this image. So click OK. You can't really tell here, but that selection is now turned into quite a soft selection. And now we can revert back to the Magic Remove tool. Even though we created a selection in a different tool, we can now change the content to a chocolate cake and click remove and just see what this can do and like that we've got a big slice of chocolate cake now i don't particularly like the look of this one i'm just going to click remove again and see what else it gives me but the idea is working so well it's rebuilt all the area of the plate around it see there's a nice plain chocolate cake let me just hide the selection for a minute and you can see how well it's blended in recreated the plate and it's got the reflection of the chocolate cake so if we just go back to the original air for a second you can appreciate exactly what that tool's done uh, it's pretty amazing and you can continue and go as deep with this as you like in terms of additions so let's take this for example now it's a fairly boring looking cake so with the tool selected i'm just going to draw an area around the top of the cake making sure i clear the top edge give it a little bit of a gap and just take it to just the outside edge of the top 
just to make sure we've captured enough room for a bit of extra height. And as you can see here, I've already typed in, pasted in chocolate frosting. So I'm going to click the button and look at that now, how amazing it's blended it in. I mean, this is great. What I would do at this point is press Control J and do another duplicate just so you've got another layer of changes. So if something goes wrong, you can still go back to the nice chocolate frosting. So we can go on top of this and I'll just draw, I'll just draw just an area over there. Let's just put um, strawberry in chocolate and see what we can do. And the reason why I put strawberry and chocolate, by the way, is just so that it would try and blend into the chocolate topping a bit more and it wouldn't look like it was floating on the top. And this one's just got a nice shadow you can see there with a little bit of chocolate melting. So that is a pretty good looking cake. And considering we started at that and that all has been generated within Photopea, I think it's really, really exciting.